This is it. Will Johnny Benson give Rick Crawford any help as they come through turn four into the trial? they go. It's Todd Bodine. Now Johnny Benson looks to the outside. Here comes Rick Crawford. He and he goes out. to the outside. It's Crawford on the outside. Bodine. Oh. And they go across the start finish line. Bodine by 14 one thousandths of a second in front of Crawford. See Johnny jumps to the inside. Todd leaves him a little bit of room. Here comes Rick Crawford on the outside. Three wide at the start finish line. <laughs> Stretch into turn three, it's still in finger. Jordan Anderson second, Cody Robaugh third. He's hooked to him, this is gonna be a big move. Anderson swings outside. He's gonna get him. Jordan Anderson. And Grant in finger at the line. Oh, it's gonna be in finger. In the middle, you got it. What a thriller. Wow. Can you see right there when Grant went up and, and door jammed him. Yeah, that killed Jordan's uh, momentum and, and propelled uh, Grant back into the lead. Uh, Jordan did the right thing by attaching to his bumper, making it to where it's pretty much impossible to block it. He's already at your bumper. Incredible uh, race all the way to the line. Staying on the outside, he knows Ron. Look at him, he's pulling up beside him, it looks like. Ron Hornaday on the inside as they go down the back stretch. Here comes Bobby Labonte on the high side. It's Bobby Labonte trying to get by Ron Hornaday as they go to three and four. Ron drives it down in the corner. As they work their way through three and four, they're side by side coming out of turn number four. On the high side, Bobby Labonte, they hit again. It's Bobby Labonte and Ron Hornaday. Ron Hornaday goes across the start finish line, just inches in front of Bobby Labonte. Our clock says eight one thousandths of a second. And he was sideways doing it. That truck was out of control and his foot was flat on the floorboard. Here they come, and Skinner's right back there. Tries to hold off Johnny Benson. Here he comes looking to the bottom of the racetrack. Johnny goes right down to the bottom. Door to door as they come to the start finish Bring line. Johnny Benson trying to get it. He's going to go across the start finish line. They were almost identical across the start finish line. We still haven't yeah. seen as they have updated oh. the scores. And here comes Darnell with the momentum on the high side, getting that side draft to the line. Closing in on the start finish line. And Eric Darnell. A dead heat. Good job. Nine timing. Eric Darnell there. gets the win. It's win number two for Darnell. Kane eking out in front as they come off the of turn four. Jones trying to power to the outside. Here they come back to the start finish line. It's going to be a photo finish sliding sideways at the line. Casey Kane wins it at Charlotte and a huge crash behind him. Unbelievable. 200 miles of action it comes down to one thousandth of a second or about two feet if you like al marola in front of kyle bush bring it to the checkered bring it to the checkered and the 88 of matt crafton are they going to make the move here comes sauter looking to the inside al marola in front of kyle bush kyle bush is going to move to the inside it's a drag race they're three wide at the stripe it looked as though kyle bush may have outlasted al marola two one thousandths of a second as they come to the stripe, Bush goes down to the bottom, Sauter goes up to the top, and right at the stripe, that's what two thousandths of a second looks like. Here's Skinner down on the inside, charging for the finish. He puts the fender right in the door of Butch Miller. Here they come out of four, side by side, to the line. I think you can give it to Miller. 
Skinner had him there. He had him, but look at the momentum that Miller has as they come to the start finish line. He had momentum coming off turn four on the outside, and you can see just barely noses ahead of Mike Skinner as they get to the start finish line.